Hi, this is Chef Martin in the ThermoWorks demo courtyard here today with Sterling Davis of Slow Stradamus Barbecue. And today we're going to be making some patatas bravas, a classic Spanish uh, tapas dish. Uh, we're going to do it outside. So, Sterling. Yes. Patatas bravas. Um, you said that this is uh, something you ate in Spain and then you learned to recreate on your own. Tell exactly, me a little bit about yeah. that and what is it? What so I doing? had the chance last uh, October to go to Spain. I was uh, spending some time in Barcelona for work and Spain, every imaginable tapas, right? This particular dish is one that I wanted to bring home, recreate and introduce it to my family. And it's become a hit for birthday requests, for uh, even if we're just celebrating a fancy dinner, this is what they request. Cool, fantastic. So we've got some cubed up, these are russet potatoes. So we want something that's more of the, of the, the mealy potato than the starchy potato. Correct. They're gonna crisp better, right? Yep. So, um, and we got a bunch of spices. What, what's our procedure here? Yeah, so uh, we have some water boiling here on the yep. sidekick and we're going to boil the potatoes. Now, when we boil the potatoes, we're only gonna take the potatoes to about 90%. That way they're probe tender, we can remove them, and then let them cool down. And when we do that, we're going to whip together our, uh, our dip and our seasonings for the patatas bravas, and then we're gonna throw them in oil and give them a fry. Fantastic. So I'm just gonna put these in the water here, yeah? Yep. Okay. I've uh, lightly salted this water uh, so, so that our potatoes are going to have a little more flavor that way. And we'll let those go. Um, we'll check those, you said probe tender with a the thermopen. Yep. Uh, a potato that's most of the way done, that is most of the way tender is probably going to be- six to seven minutes. And it's probably going to be about 190 degrees in there. Correct. So um, we'll check that in a, in a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and make this. Okay. This sauce is one of my favorites. Seriously, this is good on anything, not just patatas bravas. All right. So what we are going to do is we're gonna start with some mayo. That's about a cup of mayo. Throw that into our bowl. Okay. And after that, we're gonna take some fresh garlic. That's about... That looks, uh, that's like about a tablespoon, maybe yeah. four teaspoons. Exactly. And then only a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We have some cumin. We have some uh, smoked paprika. That's a classic Spanish ingredient. That makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Here, yeah. uh, some chipotle powder. That's the, uh, that's the ancho. Oh, that one was the ancho. And that's then this the is the chipotle yep. powder. So we're gonna take these ingredients and we're just gonna mix it up. So you should see it's about that color. It's a beautiful red color. You could see the spices coming through. Consistency, you're looking for smooth, save for the garlic that's minced up in there. And that is our sauce. Fantastic. So um, is there just enough flavor in there that we don't need any salt in there? Are we gonna taste that for salt or? or yeah, so we are actually going to do a seasoning. So when those okay. potatoes cool off and after they come out of the fryer, we're gonna season them up a little bit before we serve with the sauce. And that seasoning, it's really, really simple. We're going to take about a uh, two teaspoons of pepper. Okay. We're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Pretty simple there. And then we're going to do about a teaspoon of the chipotle powder. Really, really simple sauce. And when this comes together, all we're going to do is sprinkle that on top of the patatas bravas when it okay. comes out of the oil. And that'll pretty much be ready. So you Fantastic. take this, it has some nice bite to it with the black pepper. Then you mix it with the sauce, which has all those different peppers coming through. It's a really unique uh, combination of flavors, but it's incredible. It's a family favorite oh, for sure. I, I look forward to it. And this recipe is available on, on your website, right? Absolutely. So check out slosterdamas.com or find me on Instagram at Slosterdamas Barbecue, and I share uh, all of these recipes. Fantastic. We'll see you when the potatoes are done. All right, we're back. The potatoes have been boiling for about five or six minutes. We're gonna check on those, see how tender they are. Like I said, um, a lot of people don't know that you can temp potatoes, but a potato is done at about 203 degrees. So we're just gonna probe this, feel how it goes in there. And yeah, that's 199 degrees and it feels nice and tender. So Perfect. we're gonna just pull those out of there. Yep, so yep. what we do now is we lay them on a cooling rack. Uh, just, just a cookie sheet works great. 
And what we're gonna do is spread those out so that they uh, can cool evenly. And once they're cool, we're gonna heat up some oil to 350 degrees, which we also use the handy thermopen for. And then we're gonna fry these up. Our potatoes have cooled. We've got our oil here heated to 375 degrees. I know we said 350 earlier, we meant 375. This is a high heat oil, peanut oil, uh, great for frying potatoes in. So we're here at, yeah, right of it, right? We're just, we're just walking past 375 there. So we're gonna put these in, just kind of gonna gently lay them in handfuls at a time. Perfect. All right. And Sterling, what are we looking for on, 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 on this? So the clear indicator that they are ready is when they begin to float. But what we're really looking for is here's color. We want a nice crispy consistency that when you bite in, you get crunch from every angle of that potato. And since the potatoes are already cooked, it's really not gonna take that long at 375. We're looking four to five minutes tops. Great. So what we have prepped is we have a bowl with a paper towel in it. When those come off the heat, we're gonna put them in the, uh, in the bowl with the paper towel. We have our seasoning already prepared. We're gonna sprinkle the potatoes with the seasoning and then we'll plate it up and we'll be ready to go. Now, anytime you fry potatoes or, or fry anything, you wanna make sure to agitate it a little bit to make sure they don't stick together. Uh, one big old clump of potatoes, it's crusty on the outside, crunchy on the outside, but soggy on the inside is nobody's idea of a good party. That's right. So I can keep an eye on the temperature here. I am gonna lose a lot of heat to the potatoes. So we're about 275, 277. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat up on that just to try to maintain the 375 fry heat. Perfect. I'm just gonna kind of waltz those around in there. You could fry these in batches, couldn't you? If, you could, you yeah. You have a big enough fryer. So typically when I make this recipe, uh, I have four kids at home. So I usually make seven, eight potatoes at one time. There's no fitting that into a fryer this size. Exactly, so I usually do it in, uh, in two batches. Okay. And the main reason that you're gonna do that is just to avoid the oil dropping in, in temperature too much, but also to make sure you have nice even cook and it takes a little bit less time. But we had a big pan, we have the Camp Chef sidekick, so we should be good to go here. Yeah, this is kind of a powerhouse of, 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 of heat here. So these are starting to turn nice and golden. That'll be just another minute or two on those probably. So in our, our indicator here again is when they've begun to float. So yeah. they started to float. They're starting and to float. Color wise, there. let's lift up a couple of those so we could see them. So color wise, they're taking on this really nice golden brown on the edges. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to take it a few minutes more just because we like them extra crispy and then we should be golden. Great. Like the potatoes. Like the potatoes. Now, of course, you can do this in your house um, if you have a deep fryer or if you have a pot on the stove. Just be very careful anytime you're deep frying on the stove at home that uh, you have enough head space in your pot that the oil won't bubble up over and down into the gas flame and go up in, in smoke. Be careful that outside as well, just because you're outside doesn't mean you're safe. Best to not deep fry under the eaves of a house um, or even on a wood patio or something like that, just for the sake of safety. You know, those are looking quite good. So as you're pulling those, I'm gonna season a few as okay. we're going. All right. Just very lightly, I'm just gonna sprinkle some above. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of do this like this and then send it over there to you. Yep. You don't want too much seasoning because we have a lot of pepper in there. So then I'm going to season this batch. Oh my gosh, these look and smell amazing. So we've done the paper towel trick because the last thing you want after spending all this time frying the potatoes is to have them sit in the oil in the bottom and get soggy. So we've put a paper towel in here to make sure that they stay nice and crispy while it absorbs the oil. And we're seasoning very lightly because most of the flavor from this dish is gonna come from this sauce that we're dipping it in. All right, beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, so now I'm just gonna shake those up a little bit here. So I don't know if you could hear, but you can actually hear how They're crispy, crispy yeah, they, they are. They sound crispy. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that out. Yes, please. Now that, they've, now that it's, it's absorbed all the oil, we're gonna give that a 
perfect. That sounds amazing. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna plate some of this up here? Yep, we'll plate some of it up. We have this incredible sauce that we've put together. A couple more on there. So there I am just go. gonna do a giant glob right in the middle. Okay. We can just kind of dip into that. Exactly. So there's your glob. And then by tradition, toothpick. All right. All right. This looks fantastic. Um, I'm going to try some. So I'm going to take my mask off and Please eat do. some of this. Oh, I want a bigger one than that. There we go. That's more like it. Take that. Mm. Dude, I'm making this. This is fantastic. All right, come on back in. Why don't you try some? I would love to. So again, what you're looking for, nice crispy potato. That sauce right there is perfect. And again, you could put this sauce on anything. It's a win. All right, there you have it. Patatas Bravas, classic Spanish tapas. So tasty, really easy. Uh, just remember that temperature matters. Get your oil temps right, fry safely. Uh, this is Chef Martin and Flos Dramas uh, from the Thermoworks patio. See you next time.